video 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 hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel my name is Jay and in today's video we got a lot to talk about um we got a lot to do <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning my depression pit of a bedroom after being sick with COVID for like two weeks um yeah I had a lot of plans for the new year I was really really excited I had like a ton of video ideas I had all planned out and uh, then I got sick with COVID for two weeks and that sucked um, and then all my plans basically got ruined because I couldn't do anything but sleep be sick like just it, uh, gross gross amounts of sick and sleeps more and now that I'm finally feeling better I feel like sorry my cat's right here um, I feel like I am so far behind on everything and I feel like the whole year is just a bust and that sucks that really really sucks cuz I wanted to like really just come into the new year like blazing fists a blazing ready to go pow, 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 be all ready and fight it and do stuff and now I just feel like yeah it's not fun but today sorry sorry by the way if my mouth sounds weird my wisdom tooth was coming in while I was um, sick with COVID and my mouth is still swollen from it so yeah there's that um but today I'm going to be trying to clean my room. It's not the worst it's ever been. Like, it's still manageable and I can do stuff, but it's gone pretty bad. So I need to clean my room, organize everything, go through a ton of stuff and just like try to feel like a person again because I don't feel like a person right now. I really, really don't. I feel like a blob. Just like a, a sick, gross blob, even though I'm not really sick anymore. So, that's fun. I'm gonna try to just get through it today, push myself really hard to film and record and just get everything done. I have like, um, here, hold on one second. Um, I have a whole list of things, you can't see that. I'll pop up a picture right here. I have a whole list of things of all the stuff that I need to get done. Um, and I planned it out so that I don't get overwhelmed because that's what happens whenever I clean. I get overwhelmed <laughs> really quickly and it's not fun. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to get through all this and just not die. Because there is a lot, especially with the clothes, a lot of clothes that I need to get through. And yeah, let's get into that. Are you going to help me clean up? I'll take that as a no. Hey, so it's voiceover Jay here. Um, so as you can see, my room is very, very messy. There's a giant pile of clothes. There's stuff all over the floor. It's, uh, it's not great right now. So yeah, I got to fix it up and clean it and organize and everything. So I'm going to get on with that. And yeah. Hi. Hi, there's me. I'm waving. <laughs> so first I'm just starting off by going through my contacts and making sure that they're all like full of fluid and not dried out because I've had that happen before with a contact and that wasn't fun. It was really disappointing and upsetting because I love my contacts. They're really fun to wear. And right now I'm just like going through the contacts making sure they're all good. And then I'm gonna start cleaning my little bedside table area because I store a lot of stuff on my bedside area. It's really messy, honestly, usually 100% of the time, but I'm just gonna get through it.
I don't know why, but I wanted to show you this entire can of Monster Energy that I didn't drink. Um, yeah, not the not my shining achievement moment. Next I'm moving on to my bed area. Um, I forgot some stuff on my bed and found it later on in the day, but <laughs> yeah, it was really messy. I just moved stuff from my bedside table over to my bed area and kind of picked at it and put stuff away as I went. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best kind of cleaning situation I guess you could say because I just like moved stuff around until I finally got to the area where it was supposed to be. So yeah, um, it was really weird. I also almost dumped an entire cup of water onto my bed, but I managed to somehow not. And then I lost my little chains that I wear, like my collars and chains, um, in my bed area. And I didn't find them until later, so yeah, that was not my shining achievement moment either. Next I'm moving on to fixing up my Care Bear Castle area. Um, it's really out of order because I've been like putting books and other stuff there while I've just been doing stuff and reading in my pastime. So yeah, not the not the best. Not the best time. Not the best cleanliness area. But I did give it a good wipe down and just made sure everything looked really clean and nice and prim and proper. And now it's looking really spiffy and I'm really proud of it because I love my Care Bear Castle. I've had since I was a little kid. It's just like it's one of those things that I really, really love from childhood and it brings me a lot of nostalgia now. Next I'm moving on to my dresser slash plant table area thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I just like have a lot of stuff around this area and yeah. I've tried to find the light switch but it was unplugged the entire time so I had to plug it in and yeah. I'm I'm not the brightest, but this thing sure is and it smells good. So yeah.
Next time, fixing up my Cupid doll shrine. So, I took a break from cleaning because I um, put my clothes away, like that big pile of clothes, and I had a malfunction with my phone, camera, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna say about it. Um, but I d ended up not getting the recording I needed for sorting and going through my clothes and putting them away, and that was really frustrating. But I decided to take a little break after I got that done, and after, because I just I kept going with it, and I decided not to record any of it, honestly. And I just decided I'm going to take a little break now. And I'm just going to do some crochet. Because I think when you push yourself really hard to do stuff, especially in such a social media oriented world, um, it can be really frustrating when things don't turn out the way you want them to. And I think we need to realize sometimes that sometimes things just don't turn out the way you want them to. And that's okay. Like, hmm, like even with this crochet for say, for say, crochet for say, <laughs> even with this crochet, I'm not very good at this. I'm really, I'm just starting out and I'm really not good at it, but I enjoy it. And I think that's all that really matters about a lot of things in life is that we just enjoy things and we take them at our own pace and we take our time with them and we do them really, really the best of our ability and we learn to be proud of ourselves for the things we can achieve even if it means taking extra time with it or doing things a bit more slowly than we anticipated like this is my little crochet piece it's not perfect there's a big hole right here and stitching really isn't that great in the beginning especially but, as I work harder, and I take my time, and I get better at it, I learn more and more. And I think that's really important to realize. It's important to see where you've come from, and where you're going. And to just like, be appreciative of yourself, of all the hard work you put into things. It's like cleaning my room. I don't like cleaning my room. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. And especially when I have to like film it because I can't even put on music or anything because copyright. But it's still something I have to do. And I think that if I can find enjoyment wherever I can in it, I think that's enough. And I think that's good. I don't know. I just felt like talking, having a little chit chat. I feel like a lot of times I get caught up in wanting to do better and wanting to entertain people and wanting to inspire people. When really, it's okay to just exist and to do nothing and to just like kind of vibe on your own without thinking about other people. That's not to say you have to be selfish. You don't have to be selfish. But at the same time, it's cool just to do things for yourself sometimes. Just kind of like, enjoy things for yourself, you know? With no other ulterior motive or kind of wanting to do it for someone else, you know? Like, like I'm making this just for me. And I get to choose whether I share it with the world or not. I could delete this whole video, or even just this little passage where I'm talking to you guys. And that'd be totally up to me, whether I want to share it or not. I think like, I think a lot of times we really critique other people without even thinking about all the effort they put into things. Because it's easy, and it's kind of fun sometimes too, just to like criticize and critique others. 
without knowing how hard it is for them or what all they put into something. But I don't know. I think it's good just to be kind sometimes. Kind of just let people vibe and vibe yourself. That's looking better. Hmm. I think in this world, there's a lot of things that are scary, or hurtful, or sad, but I think if we just take time to be kinder, and to be more understanding of others, I think that's really good. I think that makes the world a better place. And I think that's why we're here in the first place, is to make the world a better place. Hmm? So yeah. But that's just my opinion. Someone might have a completely different opinion from mine, and that's totally cool, too. Okay, new day. Looking better, looking cuter, looking... Yeah. So, yesterday I got a lot done. I got my clothes all put away, which I didn't get to film because there was a malfunction. Um, I got the floor vacuumed. I'm going to sweep it today. Um... I got most of my stuff like cleaned up, all the areas in my room, and yeah, it's been pretty cool. It's been very productive, I'm very happy. I stripped my bed because I'm washing a ton of stuff now, but yeah, I'm very happy with how far I've come with my room. It's looking a lot better, I can't wait for you guys to actually see it, but yeah, I think it's looking a lot better, and I'm really proud of myself for how far I've come with it in just like less than a day now, so yeah thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed um today's featured fan artist is really ward they did this super cute fan art of me like it's so adorable the colors are so vibrant and pretty and it's like it's so good i love it a lot um they did the, like some creative liberty because i don't actually have an outfit like this but like it's so cute i wish i did have an outfit like this because it's, it's it's so cute and like it's all it's like stitched together and super like colorful and pretty and just you know thank you so much for this beautiful fan art i really do appreciate it so much it's so good um yeah thank you Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. I would really, really appreciate it so much if you did. And yeah, thank you again so much. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.